OK, let's take a walk around this uh, deregistration, so either 1986 or 87. Um, Land Rover 90 2.5 turbo diesel county station wagon 7-seater. Um, very original, except it has been repainted in uh, metallic dark blue. Um, fitted with a matching set of Hankook dynamic um, mud terrain tyres um, on the original Rostar rims. It's got side steps, although the driver's one is looking a little bit... Uh, shabby as it's lost its um, rubber top plate. Um, original steering guard, galvanised front bumper. Uh, what else do we have? It's a full seven seater and it's got seat belts in the back. It's also got um, uh, a radio CD with auxiliary plug in there. It's got mud flaps front and rear, rear step, adjustable tow pack. And there we have it. Let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, there is quite a lot of electrolytic reaction on the paint. Um, obviously it was painted, repainted a few years ago. Uh, but looking around the front end, we've got a big scratch on the bonnet there, between there and there. Uh, looks like someone stood on it over here a bit because it's slightly dented just in the top of the bonnet just there. A few scratches on the um, uh, on the wing tops. Again, probably where people have been standing. I'm really sure that's what checker plate's for, really. It's actually quite nice. It's not covered in checker plate, this one. But um, it's... Uh, it would have perhaps benefited this one a little bit, should we say. Down the sides, we've got a slight depression in the top of the near side front wing just there, but very, very slight, and some hedge scratches down the side there. Uh, a couple of bits of paint loss and stuff on the wing. Um, scuttle corner all looks to be pretty good. That's had a new section let in there, I can see that. Um, so it's had scuttle corners. There's, I don't know what that is, a scratch or paint loss or what it is underneath the, underneath the vent. But that all looks good. A-post looks very good. Slightly dented there from the door opening on it and also paint loss on the edge of the door where it's hit that. Quite a lot of electricity reaction on the door bottoms, both sides in fairness, and up there in the normal place on the top of the door where they always do. Inside, um, rather nice actually, all the county station wagon trim survives intact, including the head lining and the trims around the windows, and very unusually the front carpets are still, uh, still in place. Uh, all looks pretty good in there. Uh, the seats are all in nice shape, both front and rear, nothing to worry about there at all. Dash is nice, it's got quite a nice console to hold the radio as well, um, and the head lining's the woolly style one, which is nice. Door bottoms are probably rotten. Not too bad along there, just at the back. Back of the door frame there is well, basically disappeared that, uh, that back corner. But uh, towards the front, it's gone a bit just there, but along the bottom edge, it's not too bad. And, uh, tiny bit of movement in the hinges, but no more than that. It certainly still closes nicely. Uh, not in need of imminent repair or replacement. Uh, near side rear wing, quite a lot of electrolytic reaction there and on the very back of the near side rear wing. And then, looks pretty sound under there. Roof has lost some of its paint as always. Again, some electrolytic reaction around the tail end on the, uh, the rear panels and on the, the tailgate itself. Inside here, again, it's, it's in nice shape. Still got its original rear carpet as well, most unusual. That's the original colour. The um, uh, the, the darker solid blue inside. Um, tailgate is actually, yeah, tailgate's very good on the bottom. Um, looking down the offside, the offside rear corner is slightly pushed in just there. Again, that's another reason why people fit checker plate corners to them uh, to cover that up. It's slightly pushed in just down the bottom there and some electric to there. But looking down the offside, he's pretty straight down there. Uh, some rust just coming up on the top, top trim, just surface rust on the, uh, where some paint loss has gone through. Uh, again, driver's door, same as the passenger one, electrolytic reaction in the normal place up top and down the bottom there of the door. Um, and A-post, there's a, there's a bubble just there, but it's just a bubble, but otherwise the A-post door looks good. We'll come back to the scuffle corner in a minute. Offside front wing, big scratch there. And again, a dent in the front corner of the offside front wing just there. A little bit of paint loss. Scuffle corner on the offside. Again, looks pretty good. I suspect that's had a little bit of filler put in up there. Um, but that all looks nice. And obviously that's been uh, sort of field repair on the, um, uh, on the vent top rather than, uh, rather than the usual rivets. 
Um, that really is about it. Inside here again, driver's door frame, bottom frame is a bit uh, a bit woolly, should we say, a bit rusty, but again, minimal movement in the hinge pins, and it does still shut nicely, and again, it's still got its carpets in it. Football on the driver's side, from what I can see under there. Oh, it looks pretty good as well. Um, yeah, she's, uh, she's all right. Still shut nicely. Um, pleasantly surprised how good this one is, actually. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have a ship or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.